Hi. I am Daniel Jones. Through this video, I will let you know how easily you can set up your first project in Orange Scrum. Let's get started. First, sign in to Orange Scrum using the registered email ID. Upon successful login you will land on the Orange Scrum admin dashboard. The dashboard shows a quick status of your account in terms of total projects, tasks and hours. Just the lay of the land for example. The total projects. Closed tasks and total tasks. Total active users. Total spent hours. Total MB of file storage. Your top 5 projects in terms of maximum number of tasks. A graphical view of active and completed projects. Total number of clients. Time log. The task list. Task status, task type, and the activities by your team. I will explain about the task and its details on a separate video. Now let us see, how you can add or, set up your project in Orange Scrum. You can create a project either by using the quick links menu at the top right, or by clicking on new project from the left main menu. You will be presented with a create project pop-up. First go to the configure fields. Here you can select or deselect the fields for your project. It completely depends on you to select what fields and details you want to update at the time of project setup. Now, let us fill up the key fields to create the project. Add your project name here. And a short name of your project as well. Select the project priority based on your requirements. You can add some more details regarding your project. Now select a project plan. You can create predefined project plans and reuse whenever you have a relevant project. For example you can create a project plan for a web or mobile app development project. So the next time you have a project, just select the specific web development project plan from the drop-down. And when you click on create at the bottom of the create project form. All task groups, tasks and subtasks will be automatically created. So you prevent repetitive manual task creation efforts. And then choose a workflow. Workflow is a feature that allows you to define a group of custom task status that indicates the task lifecycle of specific projects. For example, a content publishing project will have its own set of task status as compared to a ticket booking application development project. So you can create multiple such status workflow and then select the one that is relevant for the project on the create project form. You can color code each status and indicate certain progress or completion percentage too. Select the default task type. Task types are a custom task attribute that allow you to categorize tasks in a meaningful manner. There are a few default task types available in Orange Scrum with the freedom for you to define your own task types for individual projects as well. Now put the estimated hours to complete this project. By default, we count 8 hours as one working day. And if you add 16 hours, it will be counted as 2 days. Select the project manager allows you to add the user who would lead the project. You can set up a new client for your project. So, he or she will be notified of project progress. Do note that the permissions for the client user are configurable with relevant control over what they can view and access. You can set up them up from the user role management page. Or, you can add an existing client users to this project from the drop-down list itself. The Add Users section first shows the existing admin users in your organization. You can add or remove these users from the project setup and keep relevant users only. If there are new users to be onboarded to your account, you can enter their email ids and move on to the next fields. They will receive an invite notification with a link to log in to Orange Scrum. Update your budget and cost, project status, type and the project or client specific industry from the drop-down. Double check the details and click create to complete the project setup. As step 2 of the project setup, you will be presented with another add user pop-up in case you would like to add other team members to the project. You can assign directly by choosing them from the list. Alternatively, enter their email id, choose a suitable role and project to be assigned and invite new users from here.
If your account is under trial period, you have the privilege to add or invite up to three users to your project. Click Create and you will be redirected to the Project Card View page. You will see all your projects listed here with quick info about the applied status workflow, count of tasks, the users associated with the project, and project progress. A quick recap. You can add project plan, users and status workflow to your projects. You can choose to run a simple or scrum project while setting your project. All task groups, tasks and subtasks defined in the project plan are auto-created along with the project creation. All chosen users get email notifications and invite links to the new project. Get going with a new project for your team and reach out to us for any information or help. Thank you for watching.